Hi everyone, welcome to Edunes channel. My name is Sandeep and this channel is basically designed to help nurses gain more knowledge and help to appear them in competitive examinations. So today we are discussing 2018 Kerala Assistant Professor in Nursing exam questions. Let us go to the first question. So the first question is the antidote used in paracetamol poisoning is and the options are isoproteranol, defloxamine, atropine and n cysteine So the correct answer is n cysteine which is a renal protective drug and is used as a mucolytic and is used as paracetamol antidote as well. So the next options are isoproteranol that is a beta agonist useful in bradycardia, heart block and bronchospasm. The next option is defloxamine. It is used in iron poisoning and in thalassemia where iron excess occurs. The other option is atropine. It is used in organophosphate poisoning, bradycardia, and, and it's an anticholinergic. So that decreases the secretion in the body. So next question is dyslexia means. The options are difficulty in reading, difficulty in writing, difficulty in mathematics, and difficulty in reasoning. So the correct answer is difficulty in reading. Difficulty in writing is called dysgraphia. Difficulty in mathematics is called dyscalculia. Let us see the next question. In Klinefelter syndrome, the chromosomal abnormality is represented as, and the options are XO, XXY, XYY, and triple X. And the correct answer is XXY. And let us see the other options. The chromosomal combination of XO is called Turner syndrome. The chromosomal combination of XYY is called Jacob syndrome and the chromosomal combination of triple X is called super females and it affects only the female population. Let us go to the next question. The next question is Duhamel surgery is done for correcting and the options are cleft palate, cleft lip, pyloric stenosis, Hirschsprung's disease. The correct answer is Hirschsprung's disease, which is also called congenital eganglionic megacolon. The surgery for cleft palate is called palatoplasty, and surgery for cleft lip is called chiloplasty, and the surgery for pyloric stenosis is called pyloromyotomy or Ramstedt's operation. Let us see the next question. In thalassemia, the mode of genetic transmission is, and the options are X linked recessive, autosomal recessive autosomal dominant and X-linked dominant and the correct answer is autosomal dominant. The diseases like Huntington's disease and Marfan's disease is transmitted by autosomal dominant method and the diseases like hemophilia and color blindness is transmitted by X-linked recessive genes and it mainly affects the males. The diseases like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia is transmitted by autosomal recessive genes and X-linked dominant mainly affects both genders, for example, fragile X syndrome. So these are the questions for today and thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. So we will be seeing you with next set of questions in the next week. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.